graphing a parabola problem type 1. So we're going to graph this parabola, and it's a very simple one. It's y equals x squared. So we're going to get a feel for what a parabola is like and how we graph that. And it just we're going to plot the vertex and four additional points. So we've got to have at least five points. Remember that the vertex is the point that kind of like a parabola looks like this, it's like a curve, and the vertex is that point where it sits. A parabola could also be pointed downward, and the vertex would be that highest point. It's also <coughs> it's also right on the line of symmetry. So if we were to fold that parabola perfectly in half, because it is symmetric, then that vertex is right in the middle there. So here's something to be aware of. If our parabola is just a simple parabola, y equals ax squared, the vertex is always at point zero zero. So if we have y equals 2x squared, y equals negative 3x squared, y equals 7x squared, any of those are all going to be sitting at zero zero. Zero zero is the vertex for all of these types, okay, if it fits that pattern. So what we want to do is we to find the others is we want to do a little bit of a, a, a t-chart here. Okay, so we can do a little xy t-chart. And here's the thing to be aware of. We need five points, right? So we can go, there's one, two, three, four, five. We know that the middle is 0, 0. So what we want to be sure to do is pick equal points on either side of that. So if we were to if we had a, you know, a coordinate plane and if it sits right here, then we want to make sure that we pick points on either side, both the right and the left. So that's in this case it's really easy. Why don't we just do a negative 1 and a negative 2. Now we can just pick anything. So in this case, it's going to be real easy. We just pick a negative 1, a negative 2, and a 1, and a 2 for x. Then we plug it in to our equation y equals x squared. So y is going to be equal to x squared, which in this case is negative 2 squared, so that makes 4. For this one, we plug in a negative 1, square it, we get a positive 1. What do you know? Over here, when we put in a positive 1, we get the same thing, a positive 1 and a 4. So there's our five points. So the steps are to find the vertex, pick points, equal number of points, equal distance on either side of that vertex, and then plug them in to calculate your y, and then graph them. And in this case, when we put them on the graph, it looks like this. So you plot those points and then click on the parabola tool and it'll just draw it right up. So let's look at another example. Here we've got y equals 3 halves x squared. We know, because it follows our pattern, the vertex is going to be at 0, 0. Right, So if we were to put in our little t-chart, which is kind of like they show here, x and y, we know that the center, the vertex, is 0, 0. Now, we can pick negative 1, negative 2, and then positive 1 and positive 2, but that makes some pretty cumbersome numbers. We've got to deal with fractions. It's, kinda, it's kind, of, kind of a hassle. Those would work just fine, but here's a tip. Here's an easier way. We can do our little t-chart, like we usually do. One, two, three, four, five. We know that we've got zero, zero in the middle. And because we have this three halves x squared, let's pick even numbers for the x, because we don't have to just pick one and two. We can pick even numbers. And when we do that, it makes it a lot easier because when we square the 4 or the negative 4, that becomes 16. So we have 3 halves 
times 16, we cross and we get 24. If we square the 2 and get 4 and cross cancel, then that just becomes 6. And of course those are going to be the same for positive and negative. Now these numbers are, are, are larger and they may not fit on your graph in Alex. However, you can enter those numbers into the into Alex and it'll it should plot them. But regardless whether you do this or with the with the uh, fractions, then here's what our graph looks like.